two same plays around both. Thank you. But anyway, we're going to go into game one, Lod versus Quist. Still not sure if that's a word. I, I don't think it is. I, the only thing I can think of is it's like, I'm thinking a gist, you get the quist of something. <laughs> that does sound like it would be <laughs> roughly the same kind of meaning. Oh my god. So this is a matchup that Lod has oodles of experience in uh, from playing Junebug for, for a long, long time. Yeah, and Lod also really likes Stadium and FD in this matchup. Oh, really? Because he likes that there's no top platform. Makes sense. So you can be underneath the platform, and if they jump, they're like in this kind of weird spot in between both the platforms, right? Yeah. So he actually would counterpick Stadium and would argue that Stadium maybe is his, his favorite stage of this matchup. I get that. That makes sense. Nice little hyper float Nair there out of shield. Hey. Man, that, Again. that's so fast when you do. Like, it's it's that forward burst is so tricky, right? Yeah, exactly. So much, so much, so many drifts that yep. other players might not be able to catch out of shield. Yep, that's the big advantage to hyper floating. For those of you that don't know, it's you use Peach's double jump, and it gives you horizontal momentum that you don't have if you just start afloat by holding down and, and jumping, right? Uh, gives you burst movement in a horizontal way, which is something Peach does not usually have in the air. And especially out of shield, too. Yeah. It just can, it's just really tricky. You think you've outspaced her. No. Not when Lod's using. No. And the sub-float aspect of it, where he gets underneath the uh, the typical float height a little bit, gets into the ground a little bit, is helpful just like if the Sheik is on top of you and stuff, yeah. because you just space underneath, right? Yeah. And it also just makes like the aerials faster, so it's just it's just all around good. Let's see the edge guard. Oh, down tilt. Ooh, oh. That was beautiful with the double jump land on platform. Like a, one of the cleanest double jump lands I've seen. Oh, he has a stitch. That's also another benefit of this stage. Oh, yeah, but you're right. The stitch. Oh, no. Benefit of the stage is you can get like the down tilt up air KOs yeah. on stadium. Yeah, the low ceiling actually helps out Peach in s some cases. Okay. Oh. oh. Anticipating maybe DI to the platform to get the, the down air that Quist it, wanted. It's also just like the very typical I'm playing a top player thing where you almost are surprised you got your opening and all of the stuff you've practiced, everything that you can pull off yeah. against any other player in the world goes out the window because you're like, ah, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Might as well drop my controller. Yeah. It's it's interesting how the players have that kind of aura around them, right? Mm -hmm. It's like the, your perception of them being a top player messes you up sometimes. Oh, for sure. Aside from them being really good, of course. <laughs> yeah, that, that plays a tiny bit. Just a little bit. A little bit. It's all about what you can do, not what your opponent can do. Oh! Oh, oh man, yeah. Forward tilt at low percent yeah. when they're grounded is a really scary option to put out there. Sheik definitely one of the characters that's less susceptible to getting down smash just because of the way that she spaces around stuff. Mm -hmm. But right there, it's scary. Yeah. I also saw actually, I, I don't know if you saw this, Ryobi was um, trying to lab out ways to use like double jump land out of shield. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways that he specifically posted was like if there's a Sheik who's trying to fair your shield, mm -hmm. as soon as you see them jump, right, you can double jump land. And then since they're trying to drift in because you're shielding, uh. they don't care about spacing it in the same way. Okay. You can like down smash the, the attack coming out. Oh, wow. It looks really, really cool. Um, and I, I know all the Peaches talk all the time and share tech, so I'm sure Laud has some of that stuff. Actually, like, an incredibly technical character, the more yep. I, I learned about Peach. Oh, that was a that was an interesting recovery from Lod, but Quist actually still manages to catch it. Nice. Oh, what should have been an edge guard for Quist, Lod just turns it around. Yeah. With these tricky, tricky float heights. Okay, I like that sequence from Quist. Yeah. Really kept Lod under pressure for pretty much that entire time. Yeah. And manages to kind of find the fair because of it. Oh, those shield grabs. Yeah, and even rolling out of the corner there can be tricky. Doesn't get the grab. That was nice. That was really nice. Good spacing. And also not going immediately after getting the forward air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like waited one beat and then went for the uh, grab afterwards. Okay. Okay, just opts for the, the percent knocking off stage. Yeah, you might sometimes see some Sheik's wave land onto platform there instead. Mm -hmm. to try to get another grab. That's going to kill. Wow, Whoa. really even. Yeah, that last stock was really nice from Quist. Making us see why Peaches hate this matchup so much. Yeah. 
when you get the grabs, it can be so big. Ah, uh, keeping Quist in the corner, though. That's great ledge dash. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. What does Lot do here? That was a really good recovery, too, from Quist. Ooh. Shield grabbing the down tilt. Oh, it doesn't get the, the tech chase. Yeah. Smart by Lod to roll through when, when the shield's coming. That almost killed, my yeah. god. Yeah. Ooh, tries to force the situation with forward air from Quist's end, but Nair is fast. Peach good Nair is fast. Okay. Really good read by Lod there on Quist coming off of the platform. Oh. <laughs> the unnecessary. <laughs> any, any turnip would have done, but yeah. that one will certainly do. Oh, man. The little wait after the up air. Oh, man. And you can see Lot is so ready to just punish these sort of panic attacks approaches from Quist. And also anticipating Quist doing the, the forward air to come back onto stage, yeah. waiting that out for the edge guard. That should be it. Yeah, that's going to do it. I don't even think Zelda oh. can save you. That was a <laughs> weird... Oh, no! <laughs> he actually could have gotten back to stage if he didn't get clipped by that. Oh, man. Good showing from Quist, though.